Hello everyone, welcome back to Mama in the Kitchen. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make stuffed zucchini, also known as kusa mahshi. So I'm going to go ahead and first show you the ingredients. So over here I have about 25 pieces of zucchini. These are small pieces that I picked up from my local Middle Eastern store, but if you would like, you can use the larger ones that you could find at your local grocery store. And then I'm gonna be using two cups of medium grain rice, three quarters of a pound of ground beef, one tablespoon of dry mint, one tablespoon of ghee, and then you're gonna need about a third of a cup of canola oil, about 12 ounces of tomato paste, and then some black pepper, about a quarter tablespoon, two tablespoons of seven spice, and some salt and about half a tablespoon of turmeric. And now we're gonna go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is soaking the rice. We went ahead and rinsed it out a few times and we're gonna be soaking it in hot water for an hour. While the rice is soaking, now we're gonna go ahead and wash the zucchini with some hot water. You wanna make sure you wash it very well because sometimes it still has sand on it. And then we're gonna cut off the top like this about an inch from the top and just a little bit like this from the bottom. So we're gonna do this to all the pieces. After washing all the zucchini and cutting the top of it and a little bit from the bottom, now we're gonna go ahead and soak them in hot water for about 10 minutes. This will help when you're coring the zucchini, it'll make it a little bit easier. After soaking them in the water for 10 minutes, we went ahead and drained them. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and core them. So what you wanna do is with your core, you're gonna put in a, bit, a little bit less than half of the tool. And you wanna make sure you don't go too deep so you don't puncture it from the back. And you're just gonna go around until the middle comes out and then you're gonna do that again. So you're gonna have to apply a little bit of pressure but don't apply too much pressure so it doesn't break. Okay, and after coring all the zucchini, now in a bowl I have some hot water and I'm adding one tablespoon of salt and one tablespoon of dry mint. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place all the zucchini in here and I'm gonna wash it from the inside. So I'm gonna get the water inside and some of that mint will stick on there so you'll get a little bit of that flavor when you cook it. So you're just gonna go ahead and place the water in and then dump it out like this. Okay, and after rinsing the zucchini with the water, mint, and salt, now we're gonna go ahead and make the rice mixture. So we went ahead and soaked the rice already for an hour in hot water, and we drained it. And now we're gonna be adding one tablespoon of salt, two tablespoons of seven spice, and then we're also gonna be adding half a tablespoon of turmeric and a quarter tablespoon of black pepper. And then we're gonna be adding a third of a cup of canola oil and the one tablespoon of ghee. After adding all the spices, now you're gonna go ahead and add the three quarters of a pound of meat and you're gonna mix everything together very well. And 
and this is what the rice mixture should look like after mixing everything together. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and stuff the zucchini. So we're gonna be stuffing it with our fingers. So you're just gonna stuff it about two thirds of the way. You don't wanna stuff it all the way because the rice will expand once it cooks. So now our zucchini is all stuffed and we went ahead and placed it in a large pot and now I'm going to go ahead and make the sauce that's going to go on top of the zucchini. So in a bowl I have about 9 cups of hot water and I'm going to be adding the 12 ounces of tomato paste and we're going to bring this to a boil. And after the tomato paste is well blended with the water now we're going to go ahead and add 1 tablespoon of salt. And while the tomato sauce is boiling, now what I'm going to be doing is in a blender, I'm going to be adding eight ounces of lebana, which is like the Middle Eastern sour cream. And this is optional. You don't have to add this to your sauce, but I like to because it does give it that little bit of a sour taste. Um, but that's why I didn't mention it in the ingredients because it is optional. So in a blender, I'm going to be adding eight ounces of the lebana, one cup of water, one tablespoon of cornstarch, and then about half a cup of that tomato sauce that you already have boiling. And we're gonna blend this up together and then we're gonna be pouring it into the pot that has the tomato sauce. And once the lebeda mixture is well blended, we're gonna go ahead and add it to the tomato sauce that's already boiling. And we're gonna bring this to a boil. And once it comes to a boil, then I'll be adding it to the zucchini. So first I'm gonna go ahead and cook it on high until it comes to a boil. So it'll be about 10 to 15 minutes until it comes to a boil. And then once it comes to a boil, I'm gonna reduce the heat to medium heat and I'm gonna cover it halfway, not all the way. And I'm gonna let this cook for about an hour and a half or until the rice is completely cooked through. All right, so it's been an hour and a half and now my kusa or my zucchini is ready to serve. You just want to make sure that the rice is completely cooked through. Sometimes it could take longer than an hour and a half, but for me, it took an hour and a half. So I'm going to be serving this now. It's ready to serve. My rice is cooked through. So this is it. Thank you for watching and please like, share and subscribe.